Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is of course Daki and you know what? Thank you so very much for coming and clicking on that video. Thank you for coming and spending your time with me. So this video has been delayed a few times and I've tried really doing this video and it's uh, I've stopped and I've tried reworking this video. And the reason simply behind that is because Blizzard have done changes upon changes. They've changed the classes, they've changed the covenant spells, all that sort of stuff. So basically this video went from being a really long 40 minute video and it's probably going to be something like 10 minutes long at very most so guys I want you guys to enjoy this video it wasn't the original design for this video and we will be still continuing on expanding on this video as time goes on but let me tell you why I'm doing this video um Pre-patch is, well, relatively tomorrow here in Australia, so it's just around the corner. And with that said, Shadowlands should not be too far off the horizon. Fingers crossed. I mean, we still don't have an actual release date. But this video is all to give you an idea or give you some understanding on why I've chosen my main. And if you have been paying attention to my streams and you guys have been tuning in, also just letting you know that I do have a Twitch stream going. And if you'd like to follow that, the link is in the description down below. But guys, if you have been tuning into the streams, you will understand, you'll know why I've chosen my main. But this is just to go over a couple of the key points about why I have chosen my main. So, without further ado, what am I going to be maining in, in Shadowlands? And it is without a shadow of a doubt, Shadowlands, Shadow, and it, it's without a shadow of a doubt, my Unholy Death Knight. Now, I am also going to be playing the Blood Death Knight and the Frost Death Knight, but my Unholy Death Knight is going to be my main. Now... I should also point out here real quick, I am of course not going to not play any other class or spec in the game, it's just this is going to be my primary focus. So here are a couple of reasons why I have chosen the Unholy Death Knight and why I still feel so attached to the Unholy Death Knight. Okay, so basically with the changes coming to Shadowlands for all Death Knights, obviously we all know that Death Knights are getting a couple of core class abilities basically spread amongst all three specs. And these are things like Death and Decay. These are things like uh, Death Call, Raise Dead, Chains of Ice, Lichborn, uh, Anti-Magic Zone. There's a whole bunch of them that are coming to the class and the spec. And first and foremost, these are the things that I'm liking. That we can go between Blood to unholy from unholy to frost frost back to unholy and you have these core class abilities that transition with you now this is good because uh, it got to a stage where blood would use you know blood plague or you know uh frost would use you know remorseless winter as the aoe versus the you know blood spec and then unholy had the virulent plague you know it was a bit too separated and it wasn't that it was bad it's just that now everything is a little bit more consolidated with everyone being able to use death and decay everyone being being able to use you know death call at range it, it, it's it's just a better all-round feeling that all the specs feel a bit more you know attached to the class and for me that is a fine thing i like that and i think that that is a cool change um do I think that they could have made the the specs just a little bit more unique maybe but these core class abilities are what make the death knight the death knight just the same as the death grip goes it makes what the Death Knight is. So that's my first sort of reasoning behind choosing the Unholy Death Knight, even though it's an even though it's a class thing, not a spec thing. So with my second pick and the re second reason why I'm choosing the Unholy Death Knight, and again, this is more of a class thing, but it does tie into being an Unholy Death Knight, and that is your rune forging. Thank Blizzard Gods for actually bringing back the rune forging. Rune forging was something I th felt and always liked with the Death Knights because it was this this it was this unique thing to the death knight itself and i thought that this was fine but over the expansions and in particular the last couple of expansions the rune forging system has well gone away and you were really only left with three rune forges um one pretty much for tanking one pretty much for dual wield and one pretty much or you know uh, to the other two basically just used for um you know your one handers here's the thing though it made it almost pointless basically um and the, and the thing is is that 
they may as well have just taken Runeforging completely away from us. But I'm glad that they kept it in the game, and I am extremely happy that they are expanding on the Runeforging system in Shadowlands. And obviously, we are going to be doing a deep, deep dive into the Runeforging system and the core class abilities once the pre-patch launches. But for now, all you need to understand is that we are getting, uh, I think, five new Runeforges, as well as still the uh, existing ones. So we're going to come out with a lot more versatility we're going to come out with a lot more choice now especially if we are doing say pvp or versus uh, versus arena work versus you know um you know raid content there's going to be a lot of choice here now is there going to be a best min max rune forge for your weaponry probably and it's probably going to boil down to you just sticking one rune forge onto the actual weapon and just using that for the rest of the raid tier it's going to be pretty much like that but all in all, I am actually really happy that they're bringing back Runeforging because it is something that is very unique to the Death Knights, and I think that I'm gl well, I'm, I'm thankful that they have not completely taken it away in part of the past expansions, and I'm just really happy that they're bringing it back. So again, we're going to go into a deeper dive later, but at this stage, I'm just really happy that the Runeforging come back, and that is another reason why I'm choosing the Death Knight. All right, so now we're going to get into a bit more specifics, and the specifics are with the Unholy. So this video really is about why I'm choosing the Unholy Death Knight versus any other class or spec in the game for my main in Shadowlands. So this is a bit more class, uh, yeah, spec specific um, for the Unholy Death Knight. Now, the, 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 one of the big reasons why I like the Unholy Death Knight is the pets, the ghouls. Um, you being able to summon uh, untold numbers of unholy ghouls and sending them into battle. Now, the next change I am extremely fond of, and that is your mastery. So in the previous expansions, your mastery was basically, it increased, it just increased your shadow damage, basically, which is a good core part of your, your, your toolkit. However, your mastery now not only still increases the damage done by your shadow uh, abilities, it now increases your pet damage, your minions damage. This is extremely tantalizing. This is extremely, uh, this makes me happy because I really want to do a mastery build now or some sort of mastery build. And this is going to increase our pet damage by a significant margin. It's going to keep our downtime, downtime in raids higher, especially when we have mobility or we have to run away to do a specific uh, thing in the raid or in the boss fight. Our pets can still do damage and it keeps our damage higher uh, as an average overall. Now, it is going to be interesting to see how the mastery does pan out in Shadowlands, whether, say, haste or crit is going to be a better stat versus um, your mastery. However, having this change to the mastery is extremely good. And this is a reason why I'm 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 falling in love with the Death Knight and, and um, more and more so as you read these changes, basically. So a couple of smaller changes that um, I really like about the Unholy Death Knight, especially moving into Shadowlands. Um, and, and again, guys, I should also um, sort of clarify here. These changes that I'm really excited for, and this is what's made my decision to go with the Unholy Death Knight again. Um, these are class and, and, and core, or class and spec changes. These have nothing to do with Covenants or the Soulbinds yet, and we are going to get into that at a later date. But... The next change that I'm extremely excited about is your Army of the Dead now only costs one rune instead of three runes. I think this is a fine change. I mean, it never really needed to have three runes. And in my personal opinion, Army of the Dead really should be changed from a 10 minute cooldown or an eight minute cooldown, whatever it is now, down to like a three or a five minute cooldown. Hell, I wouldn't even be concerned if they nerfed the damage of Army of the Dead a little bit, but have it on a shorter cooldown. It is a, th it is a unique thing to the Unholy Death Knight to have your minions. Why not be able to use it? Unfortunately, Army of the Dead gets to the point where you only use it once every boss fight, and you generally use it off the start or on your hero or you know your bloodlust sort of your phase, and then that's it. You don't use it ever again, and it's sort of a one-shot wonder. So I'm glad that they've reduced it down to one rune. I just would really like to see this come way down to like a three-minute cooldown or a five-minute cooldown. That would make me even more happier, basically. So a couple of the other last changes that have really made my uh, me looking into my main uh, a little bit easier for me is basically things like your um, 
uh, Unholy Frenzy has been changed now. It's been a bit of a rework. So Unholy Frenzy, basically, you pop that, you get your haste uh, increase, and then every time you auto attack, you have a chance to you apply, basically, uh, your Festering Wounds to the target. But now you apply all four at once, and you still get your haste buff. I think this is cool. You can use it off the bat. You get your um, you get your uh, festering wounds onto the target, and then you can start your rotation from there. It's just the little tweaks that make this uh, a lot better. Basically, uh, one of the last changes is Soul Reaper. So Soul Reaper basically has had a rework, and I like this. And I'm gonna actually read this out because I do like this change. So basically, Soul Reaper now only costs one rune and has a six-second cooldown. Striking the enemy for shadow damage has uh, an effect on affix the enemy with soul reaper after five seconds if the target is below 35 percent health this effect will explode dealing shadow damage uh to the target and then if an enemy dies while affected you gain runic corruption so soul reaper to me was more like a pvp talent that they threw into pve and went yeah this is going to be okay I am extremely happy that Soul Reaper has changed to this um, uh, this rework, basically. So Soul Reaper now you can use in your rotation. Um, it can be used as an execute, basically. Um, I like the ability. I like this this change to Soul Reaper. It it, it feels it, it's gonna feel good. I haven't played it yet, but by the under my understanding of it and reading of it, it does seem like it's gonna be extremely extremely good for the unholy Death Knight. So guys and girls, this is a short video. I hope I haven't taken up a lot of your time. This is just to, to, to basically just glaze over the top of why I've chosen the Unholy Death Knight for Shadowlands as my main. Um, we are going to go into a deeper dive. Hopefully, um, I would say in the next couple of days, uh, the pre-patch is going to come out. We're going to experience. We're going to test. We're going to we're going to see what it's going to fall like. There are so many changes, um, so many small changes that have that are going to make the spec feel really, 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 really good. And guys, um, don't get me wrong i am going to go through more class and spec changes uh as the pre-patch moves on um especially now that we can experience the changes and see what's going on so so guys uh, i'm not going to make this one-off video just for the unholy death knight i will be making some more videos now i will not get to all classes and specs um i'm not going to be able to cover every single one but i'm going to cover a good majority of the ones i'm going to be playing in the shadowlands so guys that's it that's it for the video just a quick topic basically to touch base with why i'm liking the unholy death knight um i hope you guys liked the video if you did throw us a like or even leave a comment or even just turn up for the next video i really do appreciate your support on this remember i have my discord i have my patreon and i have my twitch links in the description so if you do want to go and visit those please do so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for coming and watching and until next time everyone have a great day